Yo, yeah, what up? I'm back at you. It's me again, Mike Cardi. We about to get it. Woo! Woo! Yo, what up? I'm back at you. Yeah, we about to get all the way up into dang on basketball wise. You already know some stupid shit was going on up in the dang on episode. Like I say, dumb petty arguments and everything. OG titties running around the damn cities of LA like they ain't got nobody's damn bra to save their damn life like I say we got a lot to talk about and um before we even do all of that shout out to all of my subscribers thank you all so much for just supporting me and sticking it out with me and uh, if you have not subscribed to Mike Hard TV please hit that subscribe button also hit the like and the share button while you edit and please feel free to comment all right so boom let's get all the way up into the damn episode you know we start this thing off on melrose street where you got malaysia and jackie they're pretty much out shopping and stuff and this was jackie's uh invite out for malaysia because she's trying to bring og and malaysia together so they can become friends in this nice little trio and everything like that and um like I say, Malaysia's open to the situation. And meanwhile, you know, OG is coming onto the scene. She has her pinstripe green and white on and uh, with her nice little white top. But, of course, she got a side boob out because she loves a side boob. I don't know why your titties is not sitting where they need to be in all these damn scenes. But, anywho, you gonna learn because the girl's gonna let you know before it's all said and done, I'm assuming. And if y'all got any type of recommendations, please feel free to let OG know in the comments. I miss. All right, boom. So, um, she shows up on the scene at the same time. You know, Malaysia's looking at OG and she's looking at Jackie. She's looking at OG. She's looking at Jackie. She's like, okay. She's open to the whole dialogue while they're at it. OG's explaining how she's a football player and, uh, Malaysia's like, oh shit, you know, I didn't really know that. It kind of took her by storm. So, right then and there, they kind of, you know, have some type of conversation about that. And OG finds this nice little pink top. I ain't going to say it's too nice, but it's okay. It's hot pink, and she's going to go try it on to see what it looks like. And, um... She comes back out, you know, before she comes back out, Jackie and Malaysia having this whole conversation, and Malaysia's like, you know, you brought her around so she could be a bully or whatever. I'm on to you, but, you know, OG comes back out, and uh, Malaysia's looking at her like, girl, what in the hell is going on or whatever? Like, you got this side boob, you got this thing on hair that's running from your damn forehead. Whatever, so she gets to joning on her and all that, and I'm kind of like, Malaysia, you need to sit chill because your damn hair piece is running from your damn forehead too, okay? <laughs> and boom, moving right along, we got dang on Evelyn and Shanice. They pretty much at the dang on house, and uh, Shanice is Evelyn's daughter, and she's telling Shanice um, how she has these embryos and stuff, and how she's pretty much done talk to Carl, and how she's pretty much, you know, about to get rid of. Them. And I'm like, dang on girl. Please do, because we're tired of hearing about these embryos. It seems to be your only storyline while you're creating other little drama storylines throughout the whole plot. But we're tired of hearing about these damn embryos, girls, okay? Anywho, so... Shanice, like, you know, go ahead because that shit would be weird to tell if you dang gonna put them up in you and you have these babies looking like him. That's kind of hella weird. So, you know, Evelyn's kind of at terms where she's like, I gotta, I gotta do the dang gonna thing. Anywho... We moving right along, dang on CC. She's at kickboxing class with her um boyfriend Byron Scott. And uh she's kinda going ham in there, taking out some frustrations and things. And uh she pretty much reveals to um Byron how, you know, she you know she's always been a boss bitch and um she's really trying to find her way amongst the group of dang on girls. And I'm like, CC, you know, you just gotta dang on be your damn self. Don't be sitting up here letting these girls turn you into some damn some damn punk or whatever, like for real, for real. Damn be yourself. And that's pretty much what Byron was saying. Like he was like, Okay, you know, just be yourself. Express yourself. If you feel the need to express yourself, go ahead. Don't be no punk ass about it. So, I'm just like, girl, stand your fucking ground. Like, you said you was Pacquiao in a couple of episodes ago. Why the fuck you ain't down throwing blows with these shits, okay? I understand you got a license, but still, hell, ain't nobody gonna damn disrespect me. I got a license, too, but fuck. Handle your damn own. Stand your fucking ground, period, okay? So, boom, we move 
right along to this next thing right here where we got them Malaysia and we got Evelyn and we got OG and they sitting down they having some wine and all that and I'm gonna just say this right here OG, what in the entire fuck did you have on in this particular scene right here? Like, for real, for real. You know, every time you step on a scene, I have to question, who the fuck, do you even have a mirror at home? For real. Do you even have a mirror at home, girl? For real. Because you came out with this little tan slip thing on. Your dang on hairpiece. Got this thing on Pandora jewelry that you got draped in between and interlaced or whatever. Like I say, it was crazy as hell. Your titties sitting there like bow knockers. I was trying to figure out the whole damn thing. Like, girl, do you believe in bras? I understand that you from the motherland, but for real, for real. They got bras that you can dang on tame the girls and have them sitting kind of perky and kind of nice but you got the girls all around the city it's up LA okay and we tired of seeing your titties out of place it was bad enough in that damn bathing suit last damn episode but now we got to see your ass this damn episode with the dang on uh, titties roaming around the damn city roaming around the damn city like they damn doing okay anywho so the girls are sitting there and um Damn, she uh, starts talking to Evelyn, and she's trying to figure out the whole Evelyn and Jackie beef and how she's saying she's trying to get to know the girls, but she's at the same time prying, trying to figure out what's the beef between her and Jackie because OG and Jackie have established a relationship. And uh, at the meantime, in the meantime, oh, um, Malaysia's sitting on the side like, <clears throat> and uh, OG's kind of like, girl, what is your problem? Do you got something going on? And, um... Uh, She's just like, you know, I'm trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing. And Malaysia's like, you know, Jackie wants you to know what's going on with their situation. Then Jackie will let you know. You don't need to be primed with the whole shit. So, OG like, girl, what's it to you? Like, for real, for real. You don't know me or whatever. And um, she's like, I'll let your ass have it. You know, you don't want these problems. And pretty much that's not a warning. That's a guarantee. And Malaysia's like, you know, girl, I don't give out warnings either. I give out damn guarantees. And so Malaysia's kind of like, okay, girl, what's the dang gonna do? And OG's like, yeah, you you in that wig. Y'all can stay here. I'm about to go. And Malaysia's like, girl, it looks like you and your wig is already out of the dang gone car. The way it's running away from your damn forehead and shit. So, like I say, that, that shit was whole crazy. The whole scene was funny because Malaysia bust the fuck out laughing. I was sitting there for the motherfucking scene, Kiki and my damn self. Like I say, this shit was shady. Like I say, OG, the whole scene, you looked the hot steaming pile of mess or whatever. And um, like I say, whenever you left the whole scene, pretty much dang on Evelyn and um, Malaysia had a good little Kiki was like, girl, what is up with that hair and what the hell just happened here or whatever. So, boom, that's what happened um, right there. And um, we're going to move right along to the next thing on scene where you got damn Jackie. Tammy and dang on Malaysia. They at the improv because Jackie's trying to get ready for this pr um, play that she's in called Angry and Secure Man. That's the title of it and stuff. And, um, you know, she's kind of uh, going through this whole metamorphosis because, you know, she's been going through the uh, therapy session. She's trying to get her mind right and her whole life right and, and get better at expressing her feelings. And so this is a good thing for her, for her to be able to get into this play and to be able to evoke some emotion. She got really emotional during the whole rehearsal and stuff. And uh, it's just kind of helping her out, you know, therapeutically and stuff. And um, pretty much at this point in time, Malaysia's kind of like, you know, I, I think that... Um, after the whole little meeting that we had the other day, I think I want to throw a wig party because uh, I'm not feeling that the way OG hair be looking and everything, and I think that she really could use some help. And at the same time, Tammy like, girl, this is a whole shady type of production that you got going on here. I don't know why y'all girls can't just be up front, you know, with y'all intentions and things, but uh, I'm be sitting right over here, you know what I'm saying, just chilling or whatever and seeing what the hell's going on. So let's move along to the next thing on scene where we got dang on Evelyn and Jen. Pretty much Evelyn's on the beach with Jen and and they talking about these embryos again. Evelyn got this box of butterflies and she letting these embryo butterfly 
whatever things go. Like, okay, girl, I'm glad you done let it go. We move along to the next damn thing, bitch. Okay, so anywho, OG and Tammy, they had the day go on uh, nail salon. And um, pretty much uh, OG, you know, she's kind of prying into Tammy's situation with Reggie. And she's kind of like, you know, what's going on with Reggie, y'all, in the relationship? And uh, Tammy's like, you know, he's trying to plan this big old surprise proposal for me. And, um... You know, I hope it turns out well and all that, but uh, she really don't know what he got going on. And um, OG talks about her man, Kwame, and she's like, you know, if my man is ready to do whatever, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to be down for whatever he's ready for because I'm just that much in love with him. So now we know her man's name, Kwame, and stuff. All right, so... Um, she says, she says how she's been trying to get to know the girls to Tammy and uh, how she's been trying to give people a chance. She says she really needs to revisit the whole conversation with Kristen and also Malaysia because she feels like that they actually got off at the wrong start and stuff. And uh, they kind of show a whole clipping of Tammy way back when, when she first started off the whole seasons of um, Basketball Wise when she was getting hazed in, when they was talking about her clothes and her hair and stuff. And this kind of shows you how Jen and Evelyn, they still to their old petty ways of hazing the girls and really just talking shit about the chicks behind their dang on back. And this is what these girls have been known for or whatever. And it was just funny that they showed that dang on scene to show that that's kind of what OG is going through at this current dang on time right here. So, boom. Dang on, um... OG admits, like, you know, she's ready for the wig party, but she's kind of like, okay, I don't know what to expect because I haven't really talked to these girls, and I don't really know what the intentions is behind this whole uh, situation. And Tammy's like, you know, girl, I'm going to be sitting over in the corner. If you decide to knock a damn bitch head off, I'm going to be right there ready and, and just ready to key key about the whole situation. So, boom, let's move along. Dang on the wig shot with dang on Malaysia and her wigologist, and they pretty much setting up everything for the whole party that's about to happen and um uh, meanwhile all the girls start to show up you know jackie evelyn jen uh tammy as well and then um, they pretty much kind of chilling og arrives she's really apprehensive about the situation because she's had a run in with dang on malaysia but uh she doesn't know where Malaysia is coming from with this whole party. She's trying to throw her shade because she threw out the first wig jab and everything so she doesn't really know what's going on here and um you know, Kristen arrives, and um, she's kind of, like, walking through the scene, and she's trying to avoid drama, so she's, like, two feet away from OG, and she doesn't even speak to her at all. She's paying the girl dust, because she's like, no, I ain't about that, and I'm still not feeling the way you said these things about my husband, and see waiting that he may be out with some girls or something instead of being at home where he's supposed to be, okay? So, like I say... That whole situation uh, happens. Damn, CC arrives. OG actually pulls Mal uh, Malaysia to the side and um, pretty much start, uh, let her know, you know, I apologize for attacking you. Uh, I didn't mean that. And um, I am just misunderstood your coughs at the time because I didn't know where you was coming from. And uh, Malaysia's like, girl, I just think that you full of shit. But uh, let's go ahead and get through, get through this party and uh, come over here and try on some of these damn wigs and stuff. Like I say, everybody's trying on wigs and stuff. But Malaysia had her weaveologist, her wigologist, <coughs> excuse me, come up with a special wig for dang on, um... OG at the time, and uh, it's definitely a step up from what she's normally wearing, which is the one bundle illusions and everything. And um, you know, I'm just glad that Malaysia did this, uh, even though it's out of shade, it was still a step in the right direction to pull her whole look and everything up. Because I think that OG is a cute girl, but she needs some help in the whole styling and, and looks department and all that. So, boom, um. You know, and, and OG, she's actually liking the whole wig and everything. She's feeling it. I think that she likes it. Like I said, at first she didn't know where it was coming from, but uh, as she done got into it, you know, she feels good about the situation. Meanwhile, Evelyn's like, you know, Kristen, how do you feel about the wig? And Kristen's just like, no. Or whatever. And I'm just like, oh, shit. Use the shady ass. And it just kind of lets me know that you right there and the whole look. Uh, Jen and Evelyn shady bunch and stuff and I can see your true colors shining the fuck through all of a sudden uh Kristen especially when you don't see it for a girl okay so um you know 
Jackie, um, she kind of feeling Cece in on the drama because Cece doesn't really know what's going on and the reason why Kristen's kind of throwing shade at OG or whatever. And, um, you know, Kristen's like, you know, girl, if you like the wig, I love it, but uh, I really don't fucks with you like that. Meanwhile, Malaysia gives uh, OG the dang on wig and it's like, girl, you can have this. It's free. It's on me. And um, Malaysia's like, you know, I'm glad I could do something good for the girl to help her out, you know, in the future. So, boom, that happens. They um got OG, Tammy, and Jackie. They kind of off on the side. And OG's like, girl, you know, is this kind of how the party is? Because the other girls are mixing and mingling. And OG kind of sees the division between the two girls, the two groups of uh, ladies and everything. And, um, you know, Cece uh, kind of goes up to... Um, OG is kind of like, you know, what happened at your party the other day, you know, with you and uh, Kristen, and uh, I'm like, here you go, stirring the dang on pot, and uh, you got Tammy over here, and Tammy's like, okay, I see y'all two whispering, why don't y'all share what y'all talking about amongst the dang on group, or whatever, and I'm like, damn, Tammy, you sitting up here being messy, your damn self, they could have had a private little conversation, but you want to bring it amongst the group, then fucking be mad at Jen ass whenever she brings stuff to the dang on table, you the same damn person too, you messy as fuck too, like I say. I don't cut none of y'all asses, no motherfucking slack. Anywho, Chris is like, you know, girl, what happened at the party was some bullshit. She gone ahead and interject her dang on self. And um, she's like, you know, oh, uh, nice to see you, OG. <laughs> and OG's like, girl, bye. You didn't speak to me whenever you first got up in this bitch, so I ain't really trying to speak to you now, okay? So, anywho, um... Kristen explains her side of the whole story. She gets the story all wrong and everything. Then OG kind of clarifies everything. It's like, no, girl, you was there, uh, over there trying to brag about how you got a husband and a child and stuff at home and everything and making it seem like you better or whatever. And I was just pretty much like, okay, girl, are you, are you sure? At this point in time, you know... Tammy's like, you know, girl, well, if you insinuate and stuff like that, then you should be remembering what you said because you are talking about someone's husband. You know how sensitive Tammy is about the whole husband thing, which, you know, she should be. You know, she's protective because she's about to be, you know, a wife again. So, anywho, at this point in time, the girls just agree that they ain't going to talk about each other's husbands and stuff. I guess they call a truce and stuff. Tammy's getting the fuck up out of the scene because she just ain't having it no more. And Jen's like, damn, they go Tammy uh, leaving again, you know, and um, what's really going on with her? But it's like, really, you, Jen, and all the other dumb shit that's going on, you know? All y'all really don't care, give a damn about Tammy, and Tammy don't really give a damn about y'all. Plus, she in love, so she ain't got time to fuck with y'all bitter hoes, okay? Anywho, so, um, Malaysia, um, and Cece, they kind of get into it because Malaysia's like, you know, girl, why you start this whole drama? You don't ruin my party by bringing us some old dumb stuff and, and everything. And, um, Jen's like, you know, girl, you's a shit starter or whatever, you know. Cece, you's a shit starter. You always got some stuff to say. And I'm like, Jen, you's a fucking shit starter. Yeah, that's been your whole MO this whole damn season. So, Cece is up here talking about some, you know, the whole happy ending thing. And she bringing up this whole situation to Jen and letting her know, you know, this whole shit started from you or whatever since you calling me a damn shit starter. And at this point in damn time, you know, Evelyn's like, you know, girl, where did you get your degree from, you know? Where did you get your damn degree? And, and Jen's chiming in like, girl, yeah, what is your damn... What is your damn degree? What is your problem, girl? Because um, you're a shit starter, and I really don't have time for you, and I don't see it for you like that. And at this point, damn, Cece comes up with this damn little term. I don't have time for this funky two-step and all that. And the girl starts joning in on her like, girl, where the hell did you get this old damn school phrase from or whatnot? You must be hanging out with Byron and his damn geriatric friends and stuff, like I say. Like I said, they started going in on her in that moment in the damn confessional and stuff. But, um, Malaysia's like, you know, girl, my party would have been all right had you not sat up here and brought up this conversation about what happened at OG's party and everything. So, boom, you know, 
CC, she walks her ass out at this point in time. Jen's like, you know, bye, bitch. Get the hell out. You know, Kristen goes and follows behind uh, CC because she's like, okay, that's family right there. And I need to go see what's wrong with her. And uh, at this point in time, CC's going off. She's like, I'm so sick of them bitches. I'm tired. Da -da 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 and Kristen's like, okay, you got all that big mouth out here or whatever. Why you ain't say none of that shit up in there? Because CC's scared. She don't want to start no damn problems. But I would have been right up in there raising all kind of hell with them hoes. Like, what the fuck, girl? Girl, bye. I'd be damned if y'all all gonna jump down my damn throat. I'm surprised somebody ain't damn drug gin ass across the motherfucking floor like they damn did Kenya Moore ass like Portia did. Because, I mean, somebody should have been drug her motherfucking ass across the damn floor. She got too much mouth and not enough motherfucking bite. I'm just, I'm just shocked. But security always jumps in whenever some shit about to pop off for her. So, I don't know if she paying them under the table or whatever. She just got too much mouth for the type of damn bite that she got. Anywho, so um, like I say, Chris is like, girl, you need to go ahead and stand up for yourself and stop letting these damn girls run all the fuck over you and everything. And um, you know, Jen's like, you know, the girl's a stupid bitch and all that. And um, CC, she just outside ranting and raving. That's pretty much how the whole thing gone. How the whole episode ends. The next episode, we got dang on Jen. She is not apologizing for her actions towards CC and all that. Like I say, Tammy, she meets with John Gray, like the episode they showed on his show and everything. And then Shawnee finds out that her good friend, her good Judy Evelyn, been fucking with her damn ex and everything. Like I say, um... Tammy and Jen drops the ball on that. We don't know which ex it is. Is it Shaquille? We don't know, but we're going to find out. If you have not, dang on, like I said, subscribe to the dang on channel. Hit the subscribe button. This has been Mike Cardi of Mike Cardi TV, and uh, I'll be back at you pretty soon. All right. Love you all. Love you all. Stay taking care of yourself. All right. Bye.